Hi, I'm Adam with Finding Self-Reliance, and today I want to tell you about this. It's a little heavy. It's the Blue Eddy EB150. It's what people are calling a solar generator, but it's not really a generator. It's a battery bank with an inverter and a battery management system and all of the other necessary components built in. So this one comes in either a sky blue color or black. I went with black because I think it looks a little cooler. And you can also get it with a couple of solar panels. These are portable solar panels that unfold. I'll show you those in just a minute. So I want to give you some stats about this unit, but I don't want to give you any wrong information. So I made some notes that I can refer to if I need them. Now, first of all, the battery capacity of this unit is 1500 watt hours. That means you can run any kind of appliance or tool or whatever at 100 watts for up to 15 hours, 200 watts for seven and a half hours, 300 watts for about four and a half hours, etc. The maximum output of the machine is 1000 watts. I don't know if you could run at 1000 watts for one and a half hours. Once you get really close to the maximum output, it may not allow you to do that for the extended time, but it has a 1500 amp hour battery and you can output up to 1000 watts at any time. So when you're charging this unit, you can plug it into the wall, but of course I'm out here off grid and I have some solar panels. Now I've got two solar panels that are 120 watts each and uh, so obviously a total of 240 watts but you never really get the peak output of your solar panels. So I typically get about 185 to 195 watts on a nice sunny day. And I have seen it over 200 a few times, 203, 205, something like that. So I think that's pretty good because you never really get the maximum output of what a solar panel is rated for. But you can put in up to 500 watts into this unit when charging the batteries. So I could add additional solar panels. I made some notes here about how long it's supposed to last. So with the two solar panels that I have, if the unit was completely empty, you should be able to charge it to from empty to full in about nine and a half to 10 hours. If you're charging at 500 watts, they say it should go from empty to full in about five to seven hours. Now, I never let my Blue Eddy drop all the way down to zero. On the little LED readout, there are five bars indicating charge. Five is fully charged. I never really let mine get below two, and then I charge it back up with the solar panels. So it's always been plenty of power for what I need it to do. And a lot of times when I have the solar panels plugged into the unit, if I'm charging some tools or something, I'm often putting in more power than I'm drawing out. So even though I'm charging something, I'm also charging the battery, the Blue Eddy battery, at the same time. So I'm looking at my notes and I think that's about it I, as far as the stats go. So let me get back to how I've used it and what I think about this. As you can see, mine's a little dusty and that's because I've been using it. So on the front, we've got the on off switch. If you hold that down for a few seconds, it comes on. And then we've got a DC button and an AC button. The DC button will power the DC power, the 12 volt power. You also have four USB ports here. And then on the other side, we have two AC outlets. This thing does come with some instructions, but getting it set up to run with the solar panels is pretty easy. See, so solar panels just unfold. And then there's a cable that goes from the solar panels into the Blue Eddy unit itself. And from that cable, there's a positive and a negative. So to connect the solar panels, this, each solar panel also has a positive and a negative coming off of it. So the positive from one of the solar panels goes into this cable and the negative from the other solar panel goes into this cable. Then you connect the positive and the negative from the two solar panels together and you've wired it in series. And then you just plug this into the Blue Eddy and point your panels toward the sun and you start generating power. 
So I've been using this thing a lot for the past couple of months and I've been really happy with it. It has kept all of our power tools charged. We have these battery operated tools and I've been using it to just keep those batteries topped off. It ran our cement mixer for the entire day, no problem at all. And of course I've been using it to do things like charging up camera batteries, cell phones, Bluetooth speakers, and other things like that. One thing that I'm not crazy about with these solar panels is the way you stand them up. There's these Velcro straps. So you open that up, set it down, and you do the next one and see what happened there. When I went to do this one, this one closed back in again. So it's kind of a pain. Every time I go to pull one of these out, another one wants to go back in. So I'm not a big fan of that. I might even just cover up the Velcro with some piece of fabric or something so that it doesn't stick. So that if it goes all the way in, I don't have to pull so hard to get it out again. I think if they were just flapping freely and I could lean it like this and pull them out, it'd be a little bit easier. It's not a deal breaker for sure, but I do find that a little bit annoying when I'm setting these up. Of course, there are other ways to mount them also. There are these gussets, so you could use some carabiners or some paracord or something and tie it off and just hang it from an RV, a roof, whatever you need to hang it from. So that'd be another way to mount them. I haven't used those yet, but I imagine that would work pretty well. But when it comes to these things, that's not my favorite design. But that's kind of nitpicking. When we were building our shed, we wanted to use our pneumatic nail gun that we've had for years. But unfortunately, the Blue Eddy was not quite powerful enough to get our air compressor going. I think it runs at 120 volts at 9.5 amps. So that puts it a little bit beyond the 1000 watt output that this thing is rated for. When we turned on the compressor, you could hear it starting to kind of work, but it didn't really get started and start compressing air. So it wasn't quite powerful enough for that, but I should have known that by looking at the power needs of the compressor and the power output of the Blue Eddy. But with the exception of our air compressor, it has been powerful enough to do everything else we needed to do. And I've been really happy with it. The fact that we get a lot of sun out here in Nevada doesn't hurt either. Needless to say, it has been plenty for us to use all day when we're doing projects out here on the land, especially when the sun's out and we have the benefit of the solar panels to keep charging it. A lot of times I'll be using the Blue Eddy but the solar panels will be putting in more energy than I'm drawing out with charging batteries or something. But even if I don't have the solar panels going, if the, it's a cloudy day or something, the battery capacity has still been plenty to run the stuff that we need to do all day. So what are my final thoughts on this and would I recommend it? A big definite yes, I would recommend it. I think it's been fantastic. I'm not crazy about the way those uh, little Velcro things stick together when you're trying to stand up the solar panels, but I can just put some kind of fabric over there to cover up the Velcro so that doesn't happen. And I think that would make it a lot easier to use. And although it didn't have enough power to get my air compressor going, it has had plenty of power for everything else I've needed it to do. I've been very happy with it and I would definitely recommend it. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.